Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry it's been a minute. Yes. <laughs> going to be about how to be a girl boss thriving on less um, just how to elevate yourself 2020 you know it is a whole it's it's not just a new year it's a new decade and if you want to be that type of person that type of chick anybody that just you know does the same thing wants to keep on bringing all of 2000 to 2019 with you all those habits uh, just living paycheck to paycheck, being unhappy, um, struggling, doing all that. If you want to do that, go ahead and do you, but not me, sweetie. 2020, new decade. It's not even just a new year, new me. It's same me, new plan, you know? It's a new plan because I'm not about to change. I want my habits, my plan to change, my mindset to change, okay? So if you're into that and if that sounds appealing to you, then just keep on watching this video, okay? Okay, tip number one on how to thrive on less, live on less, elevate yourself, all that. Tip number one, and this is more geared towards females, but if, if you're a male and you want to um, take some of these tips, by all means, if they apply to you, go right ahead. Or if it's something that could be substituted, then think about that okay but tip number one a lot of women or a lot of people like to you know have that smooth skin that bare skin feel and they want to be just like silky smooth so they go get waxes now getting a wax is I've had waxes before and it's, it's a painful experience but it's very beneficial because you don't have to worry about but they're very important back to the waxes to um, just make you feel good look good it's all smooth down there or wherever you want to get the wax you know what I mean but that is expensive and if you're someone who works at McDonald's or Walmart or you don't even have a job or wherever else you work but you're you can't afford that type of um, luxury every month every few weeks then I would just say cut it out cut it out completely and switch to Nair. Nair is better in my opinion than shaving but you have to be careful because that's chemicals and you can get burned or if you have a reaction. Just test that out first. But old fashioned shaving also works. It is kind of annoying because you get like, it grows back so fast. However, it's about saving your money and spending it on much more important things that will elevate you in the long run than you just you know wanting to not have to shave for a month you know what I mean so think about it like it's not that important for now you can definitely wait on it and there are definitely things that you could do in the meantime to get yourself together okay tip number two use strip lashes instead of going to get your lashes done ladies or gentlemen or whoever because getting your lashes done can cost hundreds of dollars I know also it can be as low as like 70 80 dollars but say if you're somebody who brings home like 300 dollars a week or every two weeks or something um, that's that's like almost a hundred dollars that you're not getting because you want to get your lashes done and that's something that you have to get done or redone or retouched every few weeks so that's going to be an extra fifty dollars on top of that so that's like over half of that gone just because you want to get your lashes done trust me that could be your phone bill that could be your water bill that could be any other bill or necessity like buying groceries that you you really don't need strip lashes can be like a dollar they can be two dollars they can be ten dollars if you want to get <clears throat> like the foam ink lashes or whatever these ones sweetheart they came from aliexpress and they were like five dollars for five lashes in one pack when they last you they last you all you have to do is learn how to put them on right or get somebody else that knows how to put them on to put them on for you that won't charge you and there you go and you can take them off and they don't damage your actual natural lashes because a lot of people who I know who've been getting the their lashes done have been complaining about their lashes falling out and being so thin and I know that kind of depends on who you go to but at the same time it can happen 
or you can have reaction and like your eye puff up and swell up that's just not worth it in my opinion go ahead and get you some strip lashes stop being too bougie because if you can't afford it you don't need it tip number three and uh, you need to find sales find sales find coupons for anything really but mainly clothes is what i'm talking about but for anything it could be um for food or toiletries or whatever that you need just try not to pay full price for anything because if you can save your money why not do it you know like if i'm gonna buy this thing and it's ten dollars but i got a coupon for five dollars off sweetheart I'm getting that $5 off no matter how much money I make. You got me? No, ma no matter how much money I make, I'll always use the coupons or the codes, okay? I moved y'all in a little bit. Hope you don't mind. But my next point, tip number five, I mean tip number four, excuse me, will be to shop at inexpensive stores. And this kind of goes into tip number three with finding coupons and codes and stuff like that. Inexpensive clothing stores like Shein, Romway, sometimes Fashion Nova, but they be tweaking on their prices because celebrities represent them now, so I ain't even gonna include them. So Shein, Romway, Discovery, um, Forever 21, even though they're slowing down on their stores, but that's a good one because if they're going out of business, then they're having sales. So go ahead and check those out. Even AliExpress, you can find some really cute clothes on AliExpress. All you gotta do is go on YouTube and look up AliExpress clothing haul or good finds at AliExpress, something like that. And trust me, there are many people who have reviewed really cute, really good quality clothes from AliExpress. All you gotta do is know where to look. So I would suggest you go to those videos first so that you can get suggestions on which vendors are actually giving good quality items. Number five. <clears throat> Next tip would be to buy or use drugstore products like makeup and things like that because high end or name, not name brand, but just, you know, the higher quality makeup products are like $50 for one foundation that is like less than the size that you would get for $12 at Walgreens. And that's not okay. Like, yes, you should buy them sometimes like I have 50 and it's um, amazing I'm uh, not on but it's gorgeous so like you can go ahead and buy it here and there but don't always go to immediately high-end makeup products because you can get the same quality or better sometimes just with drugstore products and you could spend way less money and that is important because that will last you longer and you won't have to keep you know just coming out of pocket coming out of pocket trying to keep up with makeup trends where you can really do the same thing with drugstore makeup <clears throat> and that's also something that you can do you can go to Ulta or Sephora and you can become a member and get like a membership card so that every time you buy something if you do want to buy high-end or they have drugstore options there as well like less expensive options then that will be good because you can buy and then earn points and then get money back or get money off of your next purchase so if you're one of those people who often buy makeup and sometimes you want to buy high-end go ahead and get a membership but I would suggest Ulta more than Sephora just because they give you more benefits but do that and you can reap the benefits of you spending all that money <clears throat> excuse my voice <clears throat> number six hair sales now if you're one of those people who love buying bundles you love rocking them inches or whatever the case may be wigs weaves anything then I would suggest buying on sales don't just go like randomly in the middle of freaking you know October and buy some hair because odds are you're not really gonna find any good sales or deals on it do your shopping in the summertime or in the springtime or like right when it's about to be back to school get those deals on hair because they can give you pretty good deals like $20 off $50 off half off whatever the case may be any deal is a good deal almost most of the time any deal is a good deal and if you can get money off your bundle sweetheart go ahead and sometimes if you buy in bulk like if you save up the money to get like enough for two installs then you can get a really good discount 
number seven i'm looking at my little notepad here by the way number seven would this is one of my biggest tips would be diy diy sweetie like if you can do it yourself do it yourself and save your money like if you can do hair do your own hair if you can do makeup do your own makeup like if it's for a prom or graduation or something don't go out and pay someone to do your makeup when you can do it yourself or whatever the case may be anytime you need something done like if you gotta fix your pants to tailor them go do it yourself if you know how to sew if, if that's your thing you do do it yourself sweetheart never ever ever in my opinion ever pay somebody to do something that you could do that's like a mechanic going to another mechanic to fix their car nah save the money do it yourself biggest tip okay number eight would be to start a business and some people might get scared by this and i don't i don't think you should i am planning to start my own business i'm i got a lot going on right now so i'm in the process of planning you know the steps to start the business and once i'm done with internship i'll do that but like this goes back to number seven like if you can diy like if you know how to do hair you can start a hair business meaning that you could be just doing people's hair on the side for um side money this is like multiple streams of income or if you know how to do makeup do people's makeup if you know how to fix clothes charge people to uh, either make clothes yourself or fix their clothes or you know if you know how to um, mix and make cosmetics then do that like because i'm planning on starting a lip gloss company just because I, I got so many ideas it's just just wait on it if that's something you're excited for leave a like to this video also if you made it this far thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you know when i post new videos okay but yes definitely start your own business make some money and then put some of that money aside to invest right back into the business so that you can stay on top of things number nine would be to know how to present yourself and this means like your demeanor how you act how you um dress how you approach people how you handle yourself because that is one thing that will definitely help elevate you and help people take you a lot more seriously if you're somebody who's just like loud and obnoxious and it's all over the place and just like really aggressive and out there people aren't really going to take you seriously and they might even be like a little bit intimidated by you but if you're someone who you know who still knows how to present themselves who's a strong character and you're dressed really nice professional um really cute and you have your business that can really help you people might want to invest in your business and help it grow even more just because you know how to handle yourself so that would be also one of the biggest tips i have for you guys to to become like a girl boss okay and the last final tip also a biggie would be to save money we are not trying to be out here living paycheck to paycheck anymore we are trying to be out here thriving living our best life just starting new ventures and paths for ourselves and we cannot do that by just doing the same things getting our money as soon as we got the money spending it blowing it now we're broke we're not about to do that in 2020 going forward we're not about to do it okay what you're going to do is you're going to get paid and take about 10, 5, 10, 15 percent, however much you can, every paycheck to set it aside and save some money. And this is just not this is not even for going into the business or going into um, your luxuries. This is for just purely saving. You're not going to touch the money and that's just going to be there so that whenever you need it or whenever the time may come, you know, rainy day funds, whatever you want to call it, you are good to go and you're not going to be broke. Like if you got fired, what would you do? You know, you could go look for another job, hopefully, but that process can be so long. So what you need to do is have a little cushion so that if anything were to happen, you will be okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It I don't think it was too long but if it is i'm sorry um thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like to this video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and watch out for more videos because they will be coming and i'm really sorry again for how long it's taken me but i'm gonna try to get a little bit more consistent with you guys so again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one